It's been six months since Jasmine and I announced that we were going to try and build something in Mexico. This is not an unfamiliar journey for me. The first time I went to Mexico, I was 17 and solo. This time, it's for a very different reason, but it's really hard to not reflect on those days. There's nothing more inviting to Baja, Mexico than the sunshine, almost 30 degrees, and a beautiful breeze. We're in Cabo, baby. Check out my sick new whip, Bronco Life. We're gonna head to Cerritos for the night. Tomorrow's a big day. We've been anticipating sharing this with you for so long. I am excited, I am nervous. I have not been here this late into the year. It's almost summer. It is so hot. I'm having major FOMO because I know Jasmine is so busy at home. She keeps sending me photos of everything she's doing and it's getting me excited for the summer season at the cabin, but it's such a juxtaposition because here I am in Baja about to make a life-changing decision tomorrow for us. I'm super excited to bring you along on this journey of learning an entirely new game when it comes to building a DIY construction. And I'm not down here for very long, so I'm hoping I can film as much as I can and tell you as much as I can while I'm here because the last time we were here, we weren't at a place that we were able to share yet. So fingers crossed, tomorrow is a great day. Morning everyone! I'm already up y'all. Wow, you know me so well, but I've already had one of those too. Yeah, yeah, I'm out here. Do you see me? No, not there. I wish I was there. But the neighbors are pesky. Okay, you're back to where you started. Keep coming. Warmer, warmer. Oh, you're getting hot. Are we really playing this game? Hot! Piping hot! Come in here! I've been alone in the woods for one day now, and I'm already playing games. I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I had a good morning, had a coffee, set up this tent, and now I can hang out outside because the nice weather is also here, everyone. <laughs> it's afternoon and I have a lot planned. And I'll let you know why I'm not in Mexico with Crystal. First things first, we need to go get our other half. Come on, Izzy. Good morning, good morning, buenos dias. I'm really seeing this place with a whole new set of eyes this morning. I'm looking around at everything and I'm so intrigued. Like these gorgeous cement floors. They use such different materials to construct things here. The single pane windows that have gaps and cracks in them everywhere. We could never get away with that in Canada. Cement everywhere. This sink is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so inspired. Have any of you ever built a cement sink? That's cool. And the brickwork through the entire room. It appears they only use wood for furniture and door frames. Everything's homemade, solid wood furniture. As you can see, I've made myself right at home. Pretty neato. My first thought jumping in here, can rattlesnakes swim? <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about that a lot. Every step I take. Best way to start in the morning. Best way. Had to save time this morning to get in here. I'm so sorry, Jazzy. <laughs> I hope it's not raining. I'm gonna start the day with a dip and a Mexican cold brew that's now warm. Mm. Oh, quite delicious. Yesterday I roamed around the town and it definitely made me miss Jazzy so much. I wish she was here to experience all of this. As I was getting settled in, I was extremely overwhelmed and nervous. And now I'm feeling really excited. Like I said, it's just a roller coaster of emotions, but I am very excited right now. One of us had to come down and do this, sign the papers and finalize everything. And today's that day. 
It's 9.45, we should probably get going. And we're off to sign the papers. We made it. I'm here for you. I'm knocking off uh, three things on my imaginary to-do list. Get Clementine, make sure the tarp is still over the abandoned cabin that we are in the process of roofing and cool the girls off with a nice swing. This is the treasure I found in the forest. I have a great idea. I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna fit across this bridge here. What a find, what a log. I'm gonna cut my treasure. We're gonna see how it is. Now a lot of you said our blade was dull last time we used it. And I hate to tell you, but you were wrong. It was a brand new chain. This chainsaw is an electric one. Hence why we call it Sparky. I'm hoping Crystal didn't leave me with the dull blade. Here we go, people. Let's see how this tree is. Let's hope it looks as good as it does on the outside, on the inside, you know? Hoping it's not just a pretty face. Woohoo! First one! Wow. This is fun. Unreal. Okay. Countryside, the water is so I'll wait up here, I just let it The one thing that's bad about an electric chainsaw, when the battery's dead, you gotta wait till it charges again. And I couldn't tell you where our other battery is. It is not in the charger. Like I said, I don't chainsaw very much. So, if anyone could call Crystal for me, now see where the other battery is. I'd be very thankful because I'm very excited for this. Thank you to Aerolo for sponsoring this week's video. They have changed the way we travel as we no longer have to think about how we're gonna stay connected when we're in another country. It's never been easier. You can connect instantly to a service provider using your phone on the Aerolo app and you don't even need to contact your home provider and use their expensive, overrated phone plans for travel. I'm obsessed with Aerolo. I will never travel without them ever again. They provide instant and affordable connectivity through eSIMs and they have over 200 different regions and countries that you can connect to. I currently have the coolest plan. It's called the America Mex. So it's for multiple countries. It means that I can use this in the United States, Canada and Mexico. So when I had my layovers, in the United States, I was able to use my phone normally without having to worry. And then when I touched down in Mexico, I was able to contact Jasmine, my friends and family, let them know I'm here, I've arrived, use my apps normally, <clears throat> find the car rental place and use my phone as a GPS to get to the hotel. And lastly, find myself a delicious meal. That is something we just do not need to compromise anymore. Having connectivity on the road and while you're traveling is not to be compromised. When you have access to local networks while you're traveling, you're getting the best speed for the best price. And this part's really cool. They offer local, regional, and global eSIMs. I'm currently using a regional eSIM. The app is free to download. I highly recommend getting familiar with it as soon as possible. It's super easy to use, but once you have an account, you can browse all the countries you can have eSIMs in. And don't forget to use code VANWIVES3 for your first purchase. We made it to La Paz. It's a city. It's busy and I'm almost late, so, and I really have to pee. So, see you soon. Went inside this nice building, pretty serious, pretty confidential. Felt like I was underdressed with all those fancy clothes, but it's official. I signed a stack of papers. The paperwork is signed. Ah! <laughs> it's official. It doesn't feel real and I think the only way to celebrate is to go directly there right now and call Jazzy. Okay, my one duty this week that Crystal said all I had to do was not to kill 
our seedlings. We need to make our seedlings strong. So they need to get used to the outdoors. Yesterday, Crystal bought, brought them out for one hour. Today, I need to bring them out for two hours. Earlier, it was too sunny. They wouldn't have liked that. They are babies, everyone. Well, they're almost toddlers, but you know what I'm saying. So I need to get the seedlings, put them on the deck, and leave them outside for two hours because we have an 18 degree, cloudy, beautiful day in Canada. And that way, when we go to bring them out into the garden, they aren't shocked. And these black flies are pissing me off. They are doing phenomenal. Just wanna let y'all know. Wow. We have 26 tomato plants this year, everyone. Okay. All the seedlings are out. Set my timer so I don't forget about them. Oh, black fly. You know how you're used to doing something with someone else and they just keep your energy going? Well, I have my own today and it looks like it's gonna rain. And I know it's gonna rain. Here is the weather, everyone. Bad news, it's gonna rain at five o'clock, which is uh, very soon, as you can see. Clouds are coming in hardcore and I'm getting sleepy. And then I have two good newses for you now. No longer gonna rain for the next five days in a row. Woohoo! And we haven't had any below freezing nights in a week now. And I know one can still come, but you know, we've been working hard roofing and I just can't wait to cold plunge and jump into that hot tub. Let me tell you that much. I'm going to set up our hoses as they've been winterizing over the winter. I need you all to cross your fingers that we aren't going to have any leaks. A few of you last year thought we would, but do you really think these Canadian gals don't know how to winterize their lines? Oh my gosh, I know I just took them. There we go. Oh my gosh. All our lines. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those lines didn't freeze over winter. And nor did this one, because it's coming on out right now, everyone. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. I think my to-do list is uh, getting bigger as I do certain things. Should probably build this thing a cover. Outdoor shower and bath, ready to go. All right, everyone. The spa area is next. Cold shower. Hey, fella. Everyone meet Charlotte. Charlotte owes us rent from the winter. Oh yeah, you're alive. You just moved. Anyways, we're gonna share the space. As I'm doing all this, I'm just thinking how funny it is, how much Canadians or anyone that lives in all four seasons, what we do in order just to have like May, June, July, August, September. Five months of pure bliss. It's quite funny. All right, that's a jazz clean, and that's good enough for me. Time to hot tub soon. Crystal is going to be so excited. She's wanted to hot tub for a very long time. I need another timer so I don't drain our well. <laughs> Let's start with two hours. I forget how long this takes to fill up. It's been so long. Hi. Hi, landowner. I need to know everything. Like. 
I've been waiting by my phone for a message from you for so long, I feel. Oh my gosh, I just can't even believe it. It's uh, real, babe. I'm overwhelmed, like it's it hasn't fully set in, but the last hour and a half, I was like driving and I just like, every like 10 minutes would just like start crying because I'm so excited, It's I'm so oh. emotional, it's so exciting. It doesn't feel real still though, like, yeah. A lot of paperwork, like this whole envelope. Look, all the pages. <laughs> How's your wrist? I didn't, it wasn't a lot of signing. It was just like reading through it all, getting all the documentation, like read through like every single paper. And we were sitting at this like massive desk in this massive office. And there was like so many people there. It was like so intense. <laughs> Anyways, it's ours. <laughs> yeah. It's so crazy this like came to fruit and is actually happening right now, you know? I know. Like I'm sitting yeah. here looking at our land. I love seeing your face and all and I miss you so much, but can you show me the land a little? Yeah. Jazzy's here. Hi. <laughs> I'm here. I'm in Mexico, everyone. Well, Biggie. Bye. Welcome to Bye. our Bye. land. We did it. <laughs> it's official. This lot behind me is now Jasmine and I's property here in Mexico and we are gonna build from the ground up together on our own with no experience building down here. Diving into the unknown has really allowed the two of us to thrive. We've learned how to do everything with our own two hands and that's just a feeling that is really hard to put into words. I'm so excited to start this new era, this new chapter, and to continue to learn and do things completely on our own in a new territory and with new materials. <laughs> all that cement <laughs> that I was, and bricks that I was admiring this morning. All of you watching, I hope you know that you can do anything you want to, too. You don't always have to have it figured out. And one day at a time, <laughs> and you get there, you'll get there. I feel like I could pass out. <laughs> I'm so happy. We chose to build from the ground up. Um, this is gonna be the very first time we've ever done that with a raw piece of land with nothing on it at all. This is where you can surf and there's community. It's beautiful, it's quiet, it's still a little bit natural out here as you can see behind me. Thank you for all of you who have joined along the way and who watch our journey. We are so grateful for you. We love you. Van Wives Take Mexico, coming soon. <laughs> there is a lot of work ahead of us. Good morning. Anyone else's dog lay right here? It's very rare, but she did. It's morning. She knows mom is solo. Last night, I was dreaming about Mexico when I was woken up at 3 a.m. to a very loud bang. I hope there's some evidence out there. Yep, I just muted myself. This is for sure what I heard last night. It sounded pretty big. I forgot to tie it down, which is a very important part and the last step on the instructions. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this back on the deck. <laughs> Since I don't open my mouth when I talk, I have no idea what I was saying here, but apparently it was pretty funny. Where's that TikTok lip reader when you need her? So I dragged it closer to its home on the deck. It was basically a huge sail. Looks a little mangled. Tried pulling its leg, my leg. My leg. but it wasn't having it. I need a new game plan. Maybe if I take a step back, I'll be able to see a better method of action. Or if the wind could just like blow it this way, please. If I lift from the middle, it should work. Of course, the gust of wind comes right when I tried to do that. Ah, I'm not tall enough. I will need to get to the other side. Yeah, I didn't make it. You make my supervising job hard, Bella. New game plan. Yes, it flipped. I'm so happy. Kind of looks good here. One step forward and one step back. Played the game back and forth. Looks like we're gonna play a little game. I pull one side, the other side gets pulled. <laughs> then tie down the gazebo so I never have to do that ever again. It definitely needs a little bit more rescuing, but what did we all learn from this? One, two, three, tie your gazebos down. 
For the next three days, it rained and rained some more. I watered the seedlings, had a lot of naps, went on some nice dog walks, and got the tub hot for when Chris arrives. All the while, I flew through a solar storm. Check it out, Northern Lights. Once again, Mama, where's Mom? Let's go drive and get her. We're running late. Typical fashion. All right. All aboard, everyone. Your mom was bringing home the sunshine, girls. We have a nice day today. You're not home, it's not real life. You're not home, it's not real life. I think my dog. Oh, Mom's head is stuck. She's crying oh her eyes God. out. I miss my dog. My doggies. My doggies. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I moved my dog. Aww. Family hug. Oh, I need to get to you. How do I get to you? <laughs> Go hard, but it's but kind of crazy. <laughs> We're moving to Mexico. Yeah, we are. We can celebrate. I was finally reunited with my family, my vacuum. You hear that, everyone? The first thing she does. And trust me, I already did it. Gave Jazz the best souvenir she's ever received. Best souvenir I think I've ever gotten in my life. Oh, good proud. I'm really proud. I'm really happy. And then slept the day away. But celebrated as a family into the night. The sleepless girl has now officially caught up on her sleep. I had the most restful night of my life. <laughs> I love my bed. I love my house. I love my family. My whole house is great. I can do anything good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you love the chainsaw, do you want a chainsaw and all paint? Yeah. You want okay. to something funny? I had the chaps yeah. on and I was like, oh, I can't just assume this is my job. If you haven't already guessed what my arts and craft project is, we are making a pathway. Thank gosh I have my interior designer here, landscaper, because I was doing the path all wrong, says Crystal. No, what? I never said that. You said my design wasn't nice. I never said that. Oh, you're doing it like that? <laughs> one, two, one, two. I can be a little judgmental. <laughs> Go through. Go around. Oh, the van's back. Hi, van. enjoying chainsawing but it is a lot of work on the muscles that never get used like I said I think I only used a chainsaw once before this it's always crystal that uses it Wow the pathways looking good anywho I have a method now the tip of the chainsaw blade it's so much easier to cut and you like mark it out first instead of starting with the middle and then you do the middle right down and it is just so much easier as you can see it's pretty bad there yeah. However, the log is looking perfectly straight now. So I'm very happy with my new method. Every single one has a straight side. So you just put the other side on the ground and then we'll bury it at different depths, which makes it a little bit harder for the burying process. Got my favorite knife and I'm digging out holes for each log path. And Jasmine's gonna help me. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. And then all this soil we can use to fill in holes around the yard. Cause you're lawn daddy. I wish I was. I am not. You're my lawn daddy, aren't ya? Lawn daddy. Okay. Lawn daddy likes to keep her lawn looking nice. Say, thank gosh Crystal came home because this arts and craft project wouldn't have got done without her. That was a lot more time consuming than we ever did expect, but it was worth it. It looks phenomenal and I cannot wait to walk the runway. Pick my dirty hand. I can Whoa. plant some cedar on them too. Wow. Whatever you want to do, Lawn Daddy. <laughs> Cute. I like it. Pathway looks absolutely amazing. Better than I actually imagined it would turn out. I have to say, I'm so, so happy. 
to be home with my family and to be building and having fun around here getting things done. Ash! Oh, oh, look! <laughs> I got a toy! Bella! You've been trying to get this while you're away. The whole time. I was trying to do the gazebo and she's just playing around. <gasps> you want this? Wow! As you all know, Bella loves buckets and boxes and we love to landscape our home. So we got some new trees to plant here in this area and they will grow up nice and big and tall and I can't wait to show you what we got. The only thing we have to worry about while digging and planting these trees are our water lines that you all watch me set up. That is a Toba Hawthorn and it's gonna grow six meters by six meters. Big. That means privacy from the other trees. And the second tree species we are about to plant is one of my favorite shows, Sweet Magnolias. Because you're a corn dog. She's <laughs> such a corn dog. She loves the corniest shows. <laughs> anyway, this is a magnolia, a Morel. Morel? How big is it again? Morel magnolia. Eight meters oh. high by eight meters wide. So it's going to be nice and big and beautiful. We're trying to figure out where to put the third tree. The first two are kind of really easy. It's gonna be like such a nice wall when they grow up for the spa area and like the outhouse and everything over here. And then if those sumacs back there that we planted cabin season one could hurry up and grow, they still look like little sticks, eh? Hurry up and take over my yard, sumac. You're the landscape expert. Or do you want it somewhere completely different? I don't know. Oh no. Do you wanna like go plant it in the side of the house thing? Really? When I'm in the cabin and I'm looking out or when, like when I'm down the driveway looking at the cabin, like the cute pathway, the fire, like the tree, I just feel like it's like, the yard was so like empty and like I think it'd be nice to like you know spruce it up a bit is that a spruce tree because the sun even if it got six meters tall here it yeah. would never affect because the sun only starts like there yeah so. beautiful tree damn did I ever pick a good one we got big ideas for this front yard now after this tree went in here let me tell you that much by we I mean crystal but we are just picking the funniest spots because our electrical comes down here and across to the solar. So, don't want to hit the electrical lines. Probably going to go kill power before I do this. However, we do have caution tape that is right at the surface, basically. That way, I will know. It doesn't look like much because they're still little toddlers but one day this will be the most beautiful garden like crystal's dental office <laughs> that's the garden you aspire to have right yep so it will look like our dental office one day are you tired or something <laughs> someone's ready for a siesta okay our last tree wait hold on we'll be together Take me back where I belong I want it all 